Hey everybody, we are teaching Tilt Brush, and this time we're going to take a special sh uh, lesson for our new Tilt Brushers or older artists experiencing Tilt Brush itself for the, new t uh, for the first times, how to loosen up and get creative and not worry about all of our normal artist things, but we're actually going to look at how to be fearless, how to just dive in and play, even if that's not normally your kind of thing, even if you don't feel like an artist. This isn't the same as artist block, not being able to come up with something to do. We have a separate episode about that. This is more about the concern, I'm not good enough, or it doesn't look right. Those types of feelings, those types of, we're going to actually call them excuses, aren't necessary and aren't going to help your creative process, they can be hard to let go of. So that's what this class is about. Really how to be fearless and dive into your art and let go of most of those concerns. The main concern I hear a lot is it doesn't look right or it doesn't match what I got in my head. I'm trying to draw a car, but the car doesn't match what I want the car to look like. Well, a little secret here. It never does. It never will. Even a professional artist, there's going to be some changes into the medium for what they have in their imagination. So if you can't make it look exactly the way you pictured it, that's not the point. That's okay. Think of that image in your head as a starting point. And as you create, see what develops, see what features may show up you hadn't thought of or what isn't fitting in that you might thought of. Don't worry about if it looks right. There is nobody saying whether or not it looks right other than yourself. Even if you're trying to match a landscape that exists, if trees aren't in the right place, if hills, that doesn't matter. You're not taking a photograph. You're creating a work of art. Not only is the finished picture important, but the process you go through of creating that picture is just as important. So don't think you have to get good to make it look right, because that's not the point at all. Feel free to let go of that and see what happens. This also comes from people getting very comfortable with certain subjects or certain tools. If you find yourself using certain tools to create with, that's going to limit some of the things you can create. Quite often, you should find tools that you don't like. Find tools that you don't normally use and just go crazy with them for a while. See what happens. Up until recently, I didn't like the tune brush, the heavy black outline. It was too flat. This is one of the experiments using the flat line. And I actually really like the way it turned out. Just using tools I'm not comfortable with just to see how they work. Don't be afraid of new things. There's nobody judging you. One of the best parts about working in Tilt Brush on the computer is we have tools that a real world artist cannot and in fact are very jealous of. We can undo. So if the line goes in the wrong place, we can remove that line and try again. So feel free to experiment and do different things because if it really does turn out not what you need there, you can remove it and go on about your business. We do have the eraser tool, but remember that gets rid of the whole line, not segments of line. The advantage of eraser tool is it doesn't have to be the last thing you just did. I can remove something I did a while ago using the eraser tool. So if things don't match what you're trying for, we can go back and rebuild. So feel free to try as many different things as you can. Another computer advantage we have is we can save these sketches. The sketch file itself is very small, only a few megabytes. So even devices like the Quest and the PlayStation, you can hold on to a large number of sketches. So as I'm experimenting, I'll save it at different stages. So if I decide I've gone too far in the wrong direction, I can back up a couple sketches and find the one that works better. So there's no harm in trying lots of different things because you never know which one's going to click best.
So don't get hung up on what your objective is. Just use that image as a starting point and see what happens as you create. Get used to trying different tools and different colors and different effects just to see how it's going to change what you've created. There's a great art teacher had a wonderful phrase. Now, this art teacher actually has an academy, and since I didn't graduate that academy, I will not be so vain as to invoke his name, but his saying was that there are no mistakes, only happy accidents, meaning something happened that wasn't on purpose, but we can use it. We can run with it because it may be a spontaneous idea we never did intentionally, but can really enhance what we're going for. Let those things happen. If the line isn't right the first time, don't immediately undo, but work with it. Look at it. See if it can enhance what you've been trying to do. The whole part about being fearless isn't knowing what's going to happen and doing it right. Being fearless means you're willing to try new stuff and see if it can really enhance what you're trying to do. Remember, for most of this time, you are entirely by yourself. Unless you're streaming it live, nobody is going to see most of these experiments. So feel free to get creative, do the same thing 20 times, and see which one has the effects that you're looking for. The whole point of art is it should be spontaneous and creative. Another big advantage we tilt brushers have over normal traditional fine arts is we can then bring in music and motion and animation. It's almost performance art. There are actual YouTube channels and series of people painting to music or to speeches, that type of thing. So the whole creation process isn't about the final object, but about the process itself. So feel free to have fun with it. Express yourself. That's why we're here. Don't get hung up on, is that in that exactly the right place? Go for, does that feel good? Does that help me what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to achieve? Be fearless doesn't mean go completely crazy, but it does mean don't give in to the nagging voice that doesn't look right, that isn't in the right place, that isn't what I intended. Big deal. It's cool. That's all we're really going for here. So, we've got actual episodes for artist block and things like that. Practice makes perfect, yes, but that's only if we're going for a precision line. If we're going for spontaneity, practice will help you get things in the right place more often than not, but that's not what we're doing. I'm not practicing a landscape. I'm spontaneously creating something that's here. So have fun with it. That's really the point. Don't be afraid. Being fearless isn't being restricting yourself on what to try. Go ahead and link down below some of the things that you create. Use Polly to share some of these things that you create. Other people might not have thought about those tools in that same way either. So go ahead and look around, share your ideas, steal ideas from other people, experiment. Once you've got something you're proud of, that's what we can share as the real artwork. But don't forget there's going to be 40 or 50 steps to that final artwork, and you don't necessarily know where those steps are going to go. So have fun with that process and see where the road actually ends up taking you. Hopefully this helps inspire people to try things, to have fun with it. Don't get restricted to your normal art. Let us know if you have questions. Let us know if there are things you want to know more about. We've got lessons on the various tools and how to make things, but we also want to help you get creative, help you try these different ways of making stuff you might not have thought of. Link to us the things that inspire you. Link to us if you've got your own channel so you can help it and we'll all share with each other what we got going out here on the internet. That's what art is all about. Have fun, everybody, and enjoy your tilt brush.